the way that this season went and, you know, you guys reached the finish line, the way the playoffs and the championship game, you guys were able to complete that. Just how would you characterize um, this season? All of us in college football are delighted that we got here. Uh, some thought we wouldn't, others thought we would, and it was just a matter of persistence and flexibility and adaptability. Alabama, the champion once again, just when, when you see uh, Saban win, you know, he had those tears in his eyes, just what's going through your mind? It's just the happiness on the part of the players. It reminds us of why we have college football, and it's because all these young people love playing this game. One thing, it wasn't a competitive game, and we haven't had a competitive championship game the past couple of years now uh, does do, does the committee see that as, as a problem do, do you see the problem past three um 20 points or whatever three different teams uh what a dominating performance by alabama there's no doubt about it uh that that would that's an awesome football team someone said to me after the game last night uh, couldn't we match up this year's alabama team against last year's lsu team <laughs> do you think letting more teams in would create more competition? You know, four teams works, uh, and it is the best way ever devised to choose a, a national champion. My bosses are talking about the future. Nothing is imminent, but I think it's a smart move to be talking. Uh, there's no guarantee, though, that a larger field would make any difference. If you, if you look at the NFL with the Patriots domination, um, goodness gracious. So I, I, don't, I don't think a, a, a larger field is necessarily a way to get a different champion. What's the main factor when, when, you're, when you say the bosses are talking? Do you hear the noise from fans? Do you read about it? Is it what's best for football as a whole? Is it what's best for the student athletes? Do we really want to add another game or two? Um, and, and what does it do to the bowl games from top to bottom? Uh, it's a complex issue. And it, and it was complex when we put the, the CFP together. Uh, back in 2012. Takes a lot of study, a lot of moving parts, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're talking. But again, I have to stress, nothing is imminent. And I believe championship sites are determined through 2023. Um, what are the plans beyond that? We will be looking at the sites for the next last two years of this contract over the next six months, a year. Do you see Atlanta getting one of those contracts or being one of the sites? Listen, Atlanta did a great job. There were some problems at the game, but, but not of Atlanta's making, frankly. Uh, the presidential visit really hit us, hit us hard in many ways. Uh, <laughs> what they did was took away uh, several gates, the cold rain we had, um, and, and new ticketing on our part. So that, that, none of that was, was any kind of, in any way, any kind of a black mark on Atlanta.